Hey guys and gals, welcome back. So today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the Softronic tune for the Porsche 911 991.2. Now I have uh, the screen here loaded up to show the Softronic website where it can be purchased. And basically the way you go about installing this tune in your car is you, is you can buy it from Softronic directly. There's also a few other vendors that sell this tune and you can see um, that Softronic makes tunes for all kinds of uh, Porsches, but what the one we're looking for is right here, the 991.2 Carrera, and I'll click on that, and you have a choice here of performance software or exhaust. We're just going to go to performance software, uh, 991.2 Carrera right here, and there you go. Um, you can see the uh, advertised increases in performance for the S you go from uh, a base horsepower of 420 tuned to 520 and the torque an in incredible gains from 368 to 532. Uh, I can tell you and you will see in the video that um, while I, I, I don't validate these results because I don't put my car in a dyno at least not yet maybe uh, we'll do this on a future video. Um, it, it certainly, uh, well, I'll let you see the, the video and watch till the end, but the, the results um, were very impressive. And what this video is going to show, uh, unfortunately, it's not going to show a whole lot. Um, and there are some kind of boring dead spots where you're just uh, watching me sit there waiting for things to happen. But when you purchase this uh, and you just go, uh, here, if you want to purchase it, you, um, uh, where do you click? Oh, you add it to your cart. And what they do is they send you uh, a device called a My Genius device. And you're going to see this in the video. And what you do is you, uh, essentially, you, you connect it to your car. You download the original ECU file to the My Genius device. Then you upload it to your computer, send it into Softronic, and then they do some wizardry on that file and send it back to you. You uh, then take it, put it onto your My Genius device, uh, upload it uh, through your car's OBD port, and you're uh, essentially rewriting the ECU file, but then at the end, you have both the original car's file and the tune file on the My Genius device. So you can, anytime you want, flash back and forth between the original file and the tune file. I mean, it's not an instant, uh, thing where you can go back and forth, but but you'll see the process. And uh, anyways, and then I, I take the car for a little spin. Uh, I give it a few hard accelerations, not not too hard, but enough to know and feel the difference in the power. And uh, you'll see the reaction. Uh, you know my my uh, uh, the, you know the way I uh, react to that, and it's uh, pretty impressive, I'll say. But in any event, um, stay tuned. And as always, if you like this video, please remember to hit like, comment, and subscribe in the, in the bottom. Uh, if, let me know what you think of this video. Ask me any questions you want. I'll try to answer. And uh, if there are questions that I can't answer, you can always contact Softronic. They are very responsive and will uh, be able to answer any questions for you. Um, and uh, also let me know if you'd like to see any other future content for this channel. Uh, anyways. That's about it. Take care, and we'll see you soon. All right, so I finally got the My Genius Dim Sport device fully updated, as well as having the software installed on my computer. That whole process took about a half an hour um, due to the number of steps that are involved in this process, uh, and Softronic calls for repeating some of these steps about three times so I follow the instructions uh, word for word and finally I'm at the point now where I'm ready to connect the my genius dim sport to the OBD reader in the car or not reader uh, plug OBD connector and uh, we're gonna go from there so next step is coming right up all right, so this is just to show you where the OBD2 port is located in the Porsche 
it is not located in the fuse box as you would think if you were looking up a way to find it on the 991.1 but it's actually located right there it's that pinkish purple connector let me see if I can get a little bit more light on there we go that's it whoops that's it right there and just for perspective that is Underneath the dash pointing straight down just to the right of this parking brake activator There you go All right, so here goes the process you'll have to bear with me because I Am doing this for the first time. I've already connected the car to a battery tender and now I plug this in. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these things down because I don't want this thing to come out. There we go. And I have the instructions here and I'll be going page by page, so bear with me here. So upon plugging in the device, menu should pop up, select work. Okay, it's already there on work. Hit select. Next it says it will take you to an identification menu, select PRT Identify, and that is what is there. It says, warning, connect your vehicle to a stabilized battery. That is already done. I'll click OK. Switch on the dashboard, check the connections, and press OK. So what it's saying here is in the instructions, when it tells you to switch on the dashboard, go to position two with your key, do not start the car. And then with keyless, push the button twice. Do not put your foot on the brake. So push the button twice. I am going to guess that that means I don't have a button. So I'm going to do that. And then Hit OK. Wait, starting communication. And next it should say identification ECU, communication in progress. And next it should say protocol identify. So we're just going to sit here and wait. Switch off the back dashboard to continue. Okay. All right. I'll click OK. Please connect your video. Okay, so I select ID. Again, it says connect to a stabilized battery. We've already done that. Switch on the dashboard, check the connections, press OK. And that means I'm supposed to push the button twice. Do not put foot on the right though. So I'll go one, two. And press OK. Starting communication. It says this sequence will repeat a few times. There are some things happening on the dashboard. All kinds of lights flashing. Probably has been happening all along. I just haven't been paying attention. All right, switch off this dashboard to continue. Hit OK. Task successfully completed. Hit 
Hit OK. And then it says, when you see right on the identification menu, the process is complete. Disconnect and go to your computer. Hmm. That did not happen. Let me regroup and I will come back here. All right, so quick little update. So the instructions were a little bit slightly different than what I saw coming out on the screen. And so I stopped what I was doing and I went and continued with the instructions by uploading the file that was on this device that I had gotten off the car. And it appears that everything worked perfectly well. So it may have just been uh, maybe a, a misunderstanding on my part as far as the instructions or just something that needs to perhaps be um, you know, clarified and updated on the instructions in the event somebody else encounters that. But uh, I've sent the file over back to Softronic on email. It was real easy to get the file off this device with the client software that I've updated on my computer. And hopefully within the next couple of business days, I will be hearing back from Softronic with the new file. And then we will uh, be putting that file on this device and then uploading it to the vehicle through the OBD port. So anyway, stay tuned and we'll see you soon. All right, so a little precautionary note here. So during the first part of this process where I was downloading the tune to, or the file to my, my Genius device, I was using this uh, connected to the battery as a form of keeping the battery charged. Uh, as it turns out, this is probably a little bit risky and the um, I spoke to Scott over at Softronic and he says this is not the type of charger the the vehicle should be hooked up on uh, when doing this type of work on the ECU you want something with a much greater amperage this has maybe uh, 5 amps and he said you want something really with at least uh, 15 amps so I picked up one of these on Amazon it was actually delivered same day and this is what I'm going to be using for the next part where I'm actually uh, writing the new file onto the ECU, which I think is obviously going to be a lot more of a critical step and I don't want to take any chances. And so if the owner and developer of this tune says this is the type of battery charger that I need, then you better believe that's what I'm going to be using. He didn't mention that it had to be this specific one, but it had to be something of, of significantly greater amperage than, than one of these. Um, this one actually has uh, three different modes. Um, it's got a trickle charge mode, a, I guess, more of a just regular charging mode, which is 30 amps, and then it's got a 100 amp um, mode for, I guess, just reviving a completely dead battery. Um, never used one of these before. I've used this thing many times just to keep my car uh, on the trickle charger if I'm no, I'm not going to be using it for a while But uh, we're going to go with this. We're going to connect this to the battery up here and Also something to keep in mind when you're connecting this type of charger You want to make sure that the ground plug if you notice here, it says do not connect to the battery um, so the, the positive cable will connect there and the ground plug will connect right here where it says to connect it. This is connected to the chassis and that's where you're supposed to connect when you're using a charger. So anyways, stay tuned, more to come. All right, so now for the moment of truth, I've got the battery charger connected and I am going to connect this my genius device which is already the the cables already plugged into the obd2 port and i am i have my instructions here that i'm going to follow along and uh here we go all right 
So, first things first, plug in the unit into the car. It says select work. Select writing. Select OK for this one. And we're just going to follow along here. Now we started this process at about 11.25. It says, warning, please connect your vehicle to a stabilized battery, okay? Switch on the dashboard, check the connections, and press okay. And this is where we do, uh, do not push the pedal and just do position two, remember, position two for keys and the two button pushes. So here's position two and two button pushes. X band, K band, K A band. Maybe, maybe I can just turn that down a little bit. Okay. So one, two, press okay. Maybe turn off all these sensors. All right, so some things happening on the dashboard there. File processing in progress. All right. Let's see what happens next. Switch off the dashboard to continue. And press OK. Warning, please connect. We are connected to a stabilized battery. Switch on the dashboard and the connection, uh, check the connections and press OK. So we switch on. We do the two, one, two, and hit OK. Doing the communicating. It's doing a bunch of things there. Hopefully you can see some of that stuff on the dash. All right, we're about maybe three minutes into this process. I should probably not be looking at all of these messages on my display there. But that is what's happening. So this is going to continue for a little bit. Perhaps maybe I'll just stop the video right now. And then when I come back, I will let you know how long it's been. Alrighty, so stay tuned here. All right, just thought I'd give a little update. We're about seven minutes into the process and it looks like it's still working. The lights continue to flash on the on the uh, multifunction or the the little window there where the uh, the gauges are. A um, bunch of system faults and things like that. I assume this is all normal and part of the process. 
and I will come back as soon as there is more to update. All right, uh, still working on this. It's now been 20 minutes since we began the process of connecting the MyGenius device. Looks like we are getting really near the end of the programming. And it says switch off the dashboard to continue. So I will switch it off. Hit OK. Wait. Operation in progress. Switch on the dashboard. Check the connections and press OK. So when we switch it on, we go on. We do two turns and then we press OK. Let me turn off some noises in here. Let's see what happens. Some lights flashing. Switch off the dashboard to continue. Okay. Warning, please. Yes, we are. Switch on the dashboard. Check the connections. Press OK. okay. Switch off the dashboard. Okay. Writing ECU completed. Let me see. I think that means we're done. Let's see. Yep. Uh, tune has been applied to the car and the process is complete. The My Genius handheld does not need to be connected the car to the car and only used when applying tune files. So I think we're okay. I'm going to hit okay. And it says wait, analyzing log in process in, or in progress. Hear my dog barking. Not sure what that's about. Um, but I'm going to let this finish. All right, it looks like it's done. It finishes on this screen. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. I'm gonna go see what the dog's barking about and then we'll come back. All right, so here goes nothing. First start of the car. The, the tune took about 25 minutes to install after getting it onto the My Genius device. Got the parking sensor going off. Cancel. Let me go ahead and while the car is warming up, get my Bluetooth working just in case. Okay. All right, here we go. Going to close the garage. do some heavy accelerating here so so far the car seems to be functioning as normal nothing new 
I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the camera until I get some place where I can do a little bit of accelerating. But all in all, everything seems seems good to go. Stay tuned. Still doing a little bit of gentle driving here. I want to wait till the engine oil and water temperatures just get up to where they should be, around the 194 range. Once I get up to that, um, we will uh, start seeing what this thing can do. But I gotta say that I'm already feeling it, even in uh, low speed acceleration I'm feeling quite a difference um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when I, I get this thing up to a little bit more speed all right we are at proper operating temperature I'm cruising now at a moderate speed I'm gonna turn over here and see if there's a good opportunity for a little bit of a acceleration. I'm driving in normal mode and I have the sport exhaust turned on. Alright, let's see what we have here. incredible difference and I, I really wasn't trying to take it to the red line but the the difference in acceleration is I, I should just say breathtaking um, it's a phenomenal difference uh, right away and you know, without having, you know, connected this to a dyno, I know I said I was going to do that. Um, at this point, I, you know, I decided to just go ahead and, and put the tune in. Uh, but I want to give this thing here another try. Um, that was really just a phenomenal difference. All right, here we go. taking it to about 6,000 RPMs um, not trying to really push the engine too hard uh, but I got to tell you there is just a night and day difference in the power and you know the feeling of being pushed back into the seat is I mean it's it's phenomenal I am extremely happy with this um, you know, whatever the numbers are, whether they are, you know, 100 horsepower more, give or take, you know, I, I really couldn't tell you. Um, but what I can tell you is that this car has been transformed and, you know, being, I'm, I'm in normal mode and the engine operating temperature is only at 201 right now after a few a couple hard accelerations previously it would be actually quite a bit warmer so I'm not exactly sure what's happening there but that's not a, a bad thing as far as I can tell uh, I'm gonna look into that a little bit but uh, we are operating at a nice speed here or at a nice temperature and uh, I see some cars coming here, so I'm gonna let them pass before I give this car another acceleration. But um, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this project has been a huge success and I will be sure to provide any additional updates um, as needed. So stay tuned and we'll see you shortly. Here we go one more time.
That's all I can say. Alrighty. Stay tuned. Well, there you have it, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed that video. I know it wasn't a real in-depth review of the tune. It was just kind of showing a little bit of the installation process as well as uh, my initial impressions. But you can read a lot more about this tune as well as other tunes on Renlist. I wrote up a little bit more of a detailed review in this thread that you see right here. And it was just based on my initial impressions after taking the car out for about, I don't know, maybe 30 miles or so of driving. But you can read a lot of people's impressions about these tunes if you uh, go through Renlist and just search for Softronic. And you'll see if this tune is right for you and your vehicle. Anyways, if you like this video, please remember to hit like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated on all my content. And if there's anything you'd like to see for future content, please be sure to let me know. Also, uh, don't forget, if you have any questions about this tune, feel free to post it in the uh, comments. I'll try to answer. But uh, again, as I mentioned at the beginning, Softronic is really responsive, so if you have uh, questions that are a little bit more in-depth, you're welcome to give them a call and I know they will be able to answer any questions you might have. Anyways, take care everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.